Hello and welcome to the classroom. I'm Miss Kathy and in this class we get a complete preschool pre-k kindergarten curriculum for your homeschool year. I hope you're joining me every day Monday through Friday. Sue come out it's time to say hi to our friends and look at you Sue. <laughs> I like your bonnet. I think Sue's dressed like this because today we're going to talk about letter O. O is for the ox cart man. We're going to read that story. And that book is about a long time ago, before cars, when people would load their ox cart with all the things that they grew or made all year long, and they would take it to the market to sell. Well, we're going to have fun today, Sue. I think before we get started, though, we need to do our class job. Do you remember what our class job is? We have to feed Fred, our pet fish. So you, Sue, you can sit down and we'll get busy feeding our friend Fred the fish. There you go, Fred. Well, now that we have fed Fred, let's turn around and see what day it is. I'll use my scarecrow pointer today. October is the month, and how will we count? We're going to touch our toes. So can you bend and touch your toes as we count the numbers? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, ten. Today is October 10th. Can you say October 10th? October 10th. If you want to know what day of the week it is, go up to the top and check. It starts with the letter T. T says t, 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 like a ticking clock. So what day is it today? Tuesday. Very good. Days of the week. 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 There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 Well, it's time to look outside your window and see what your weather is like for today. Is your weather nice and sunny or is it cloudy? Or do you see the trees blowing? Is it windy or maybe it's raining? When I do like this, shout out whatever your weather is. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? It is. It is. It is. Out today. It is. It is. It is. Out today. Well, let's dress Weather Bear. Okay, Weather Bear, I'm going to put on some pants for you and I'm going to put on a t shirt for you. And what is the season, everybody? The season is spring. We're going to talk about the four seasons today in just a bit, but right now it's time to ring the bell. It's time for our letter of the day. Today's letter is O. Do you have an O in your name? If your name has letter O, stand up. If your name has letter O, stand up. If your name has letter O, if your name has letter O, if your name has letter O, stand up. Well, today O is for ox cart, and an ox is kind of like a cow with big horns. Well, I want to see if we can take a look behind me at a big giant hay bale. 
Whoa, look at that. So ox and cows and horses, lots of farm animals eat hay. Hay is just grass that has been dried and cut, and this hay has been rolled into a big, big, big circle. So this is called a hay bale. And that's what we're gonna make our letter O look like. We're gonna make our O look like a hay bale. I just put some brown grass, dried grass, all around, because that's what hay is. It's basically just dried grass. And then I colored the whole thing yellow. Okay, so that's an idea for decorating your letter today. And what letter is this? It's letter O. This is letter O for ox cart. Well, next we're going to practice writing letter O. And O is like a circle. Just start at the top, go around and back. That's the big letter O. All right, we're going to start at the top. And we're going to just go around and back around and back around and back around and back well the small o looks exactly like the big o it's just smaller so let's do it again let's start at the top and go around and back if you're using the handwriting paper that i provide and the link is below parents if you'd like to get a copy of this then you're going to be making that small o downstairs so find the stairs and that's where small o will go around and back around and back okay well i know you're doing a great job practicing your letter o's you're listening and learning so i'm going to cheer for you and give you a sticker for your handwriting paper well, now we know what letter O looks like. We can recognize it, we can write it. So next we'll talk about the sound that O makes. Letter O is one of those five special letters that we call the vowels. The vowels are A, E, I, O, U, A, E, I, O, U, A, E, I, O, O U, these are the vowels. Why are the vowels so special? Those five letters are special because every word must have one. If it doesn't have a vowel, it's not even a word. So we work really hard to make sure we know our vowels. Well, we also, every time we talk about a vowel, get a visit from one of the vowel people. And here he is. This is my friend O. Uh-oh, but my friend O isn't feeling very well. He has a sore throat. Ouch! Do you ever get a sore throat? When you swallow, does it hurt sometimes? Ouch! Well, my friend O has a sore throat. And he goes to the doctor. The doctor says, open your mouth and say, ah. Can you do that too? Open your mouth and say, Ah, my friend O has a sore throat. The doctor says, open your mouth and say, ah. Well, if you look very carefully, you can see a letter O hiding in the picture. Where is letter O? It's his mouth. His mouth looks like O and his head, really. Well, I'm hoping when you see a letter O, it'll remind you of my friend O's mouth. And you'll remember that O says, ah. Well, that was our letter time for today. And now it's time for math. For math today, we're going to head over to the math table. Okay, so for math today, we're going to buy like the ox cart man. Long ago, if the ox cart man went to the market, he might buy chickens or a bucket or a knife for carving or candy or an ox or a needle and thread. You're going to hear some of these things in the story that we read today. Okay, so let's see, what will we buy? 
Here are our coins. These are called shillings. We don't use this kind of coins anymore, but long ago, this is what the ox cart man might have used to buy something at the market. Let's start by buying, oh, some candy. Here's the price of the candy. What number is that? That's number two. So I need to count two coins. Will you help me? One, two. Okay, let's clean this up and let's buy something else. What should we buy this time? Do you wanna buy a chicken? All right, so the chicken is how much? Six, six coins. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Very good. All right, so let's clean this up. Let's buy something else. What should we buy now? Do you wanna buy the bucket? How much is the bucket? Two, and maybe while we're at it, maybe we'll buy some needle and thread for sewing. So the bucket is two, one, two, and how much for the needle and thread? Also two, one, two. Let's see how much we spent all together this time. One, two, three, four. Two plus two equals four. Okay, let's clean up and let's buy something else. What would you like to buy this time? How about the ox, the baby ox? How much does the baby ox cost? Eight. So help me count to eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, let's do one more. Let's buy the knife for carving. How much is the knife for carving? Four, let's count. One, two, three, four. Very good. Okay, now it's time to talk about the shape for the week. Well, one of the things that the farmer would do during this year was collect honey from honeycombs. He would go to the beehive and collect this honey and sell it at the market. Let's take a look at this honeycomb. I think I see a shape. I see one, two, three, four, five, six sides. So what shape must this be? A hexagon. A hexagon has six sides, just like this honeycomb. One, two, three, four, five, six. Isn't that amazing that bees make hexagons with their honeycombs? Well, it's time for us to do something super fun for social studies. We're going to be talking about the four seasons. So there are four seasons in the year, spring and summer and fall and winter. And the farmer is busy all through the entire year in all four seasons. Let's talk about some of the things that he might do during each of the seasons. The first thing that we see here is shear sheep. The farmer would shear the sheep in spring. So we'll put that right here where it says spring. Next, it says make honey. So when would the farmer collect the honey? He would collect the honey usually in summer. So we'll put the honeybee right there where it says summer. Next, we see an ox cart. When would the farmer go to the market in his ox cart loaded with things to sell? Well, that would happen in the fall, in late fall, once he had harvested everything and before winter came, he would take his cart full, filled with things to sell in the fall. Next, apples. When would the farmer pick apples? He would also do that in the fall. So we'll put that right here with fall and the ox cart. 
The next picture shows a cabbage. Cabbages are harvested also in the fall. So we'll bring that down right there with the apple tree and the ox cart. Next we see a goose and the feathers fall from the goose and the farmer and his family collect the feathers and sell them for pillows or blankets or mattresses back then. So that would happen usually in the summer. I guess you could collect feathers anytime, but we're going to put it right here in the summertime. And then the next one is the baby ox. When is the baby ox born? That happens in the spring. And then the last one is maple sap. When do they tap the trees and get the sap to make syrup or sugar? That happens in the winter. So we'll put that one right there. So you can see that the farmer is busy all year long making or collecting. Well, it's time for us to make something. We're gonna make an ox cart for art. So let's head to the art table. For art today, I'm going to make an ox cart and I'm just using a small box. I cut out some wheels. And parents, you can get this. It's on the lesson plan for this week. The link is below. So we're just going to cut out the wheels and then, or you could draw your own. Put two on this side and turn around and put two on the other side. You can just glue them or tape them. Okay, and then the next thing we're gonna do is put a cover over the top. So I just took a plain piece of paper and I just put two stripes, I just decorated it. You can decorate yours too if you'd like. And then the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to just glue it or tape it on this side. And then I'm going to kind of make sure it kind of comes up like this, make a curve at the top and glue it or tape it on the other side. Now for some added fun, you can take a piece of string and you can tape that to the box. And you can put your stuffed animal or a toy inside and you can actually pull your ox cart. So that is our art project for today. We made a little ox cart. Our story today is The Ox Cart Man. The Ox Cart Man by Donald Hall. In October, the farmer backed his ox into his cart and he and his family filled it up with everything they made or grew all year long that was left over. He packed a bag of wool he sheared from sheep in April. He packed a blanket his wife wove on a loom from yarn spun at the spinning wheel from sheep sheared in April. He packed five pairs of mittens his daughter knit from yarn spun at the spinning wheel from sheep sheared in April. He packed candles the family made. He packed linen made from flax they grew. He packed shingles he split himself. He packed birch brooms his son carved with a borrowed kitchen knife. He packed potatoes they dug from their garden. But first he counted out potatoes enough to eat all winter and potatoes for seed next spring. He packed a barrel of apples, honey and honeycombs, turnips and cabbages, a wooden box of maple sugar from the maples they tapped in March, when they boiled and boiled and boiled the sap away. He packed a bag of goose feathers that his children collected from the barnyard geese. When his cart was full, he waved goodbye to his wife, his daughter, and his son. And he walked at his ox's head for 10 days, over hills, through valleys, 
by streams past farms and villages until he came to Portsmouth and Portsmouth Market. He sold the bag of wool. He sold the blanket his wife made. He sold five pairs of mittens. He sold candles and shingles. He sold birch brooms. He sold potatoes. He sold apples. He sold honey and honeycombs, turnips and cabbages. He sold maple sugar. He sold a bag of goose feathers. Then he sold the wooden box he carried the maple sugar in. Then he sold the barrel he carried the apples in. Then he sold the bag he carried the potatoes in. Then he sold his ox cart. Then he sold his ox and kissed him goodbye on the nose. Then he sold his ox's yoke and harness. With his pockets full of coins, he walked through Portsmouth Market. He bought an iron kettle to hang over the fire at home. And for his daughter, he bought an embroidery needle that came from a boat in the harbor that had sailed all the way from England. And for his son, he bought a barlow knife for carving birch brooms with. And for the whole family, he bought two pounds of wintergreen peppermint candies. Then he walked home with the needle and the knife and the wintergreen peppermint candies tucked into the kettle and a stick over his shoulder stuck through the kettle's handle and coins still in his pockets. Past farms and villages, over hills, through valleys, by streams, until he came to his farm and his son, his daughter, and his wife were waiting for him. And his daughter took her needle and began stitching. And his son took his barlow knife and started whittling. And they cooked dinner in their new kettle. And afterward, everyone ate a wintergreen peppermint candy. And that night, the ox cart man sat in front of his fire, stitching new harness for the young ox in the barn. And he carved a new yoke and sawed planks for a new cart and split shingles all winter. While his wife made flax into linen all winter and his daughter embroidered linen all winter and his son carved brooms from birch all winter and everybody made candles. And in March, they tapped the sugar maple trees and boiled the sap down. And in April, they sheared the sheep, spun yarn, and wove and knitted. And in May, they planted potatoes, turnips, and cabbages, while apple blossoms bloomed and fell, while bees woke up, starting to make new honey. and geese squawked in the barnyard, dropping feathers as soft as clouds. The end. Well, that was a great story. It was fun to think about what life was like a long time ago. Wow, they worked hard all year long, didn't they? Well, I think you worked hard today. You did a great job. Tomorrow, P is for pumpkins, and we're going to actually carve a pumpkin tomorrow and see what's inside. I'll see you then, everybody. Have a great rest of your day. Goodbye.